We dropped $1,900 on this unit, and so far we haven't even covered our costs, let alone double our money. And we always got to double our money. Well, that looks pretty promising. Oh, my God. Winchester. Ammo. Damn. I was hoping for a gun. Hold on. What? You got to be kidding yeah. me. Oh, You've got dude. to be kidding me. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. It's a cowboy gun. All clear. This is an old Colt. That is awesome. Check the serial number. Now look at that date. Patent September 19th, 1871. 1871, that's an original Colt revolver. And this is a Frontier pistol. This is a gun that won the wild freaking West. This is why we do this. We got a US here. The non-military firearms made by Colt didn't have US stamped on them. Most likely, this came from a soldier. Both serial numbers match, so it hasn't been torn apart and pieced apart. This is beautiful. It is a beautiful thing. You're ridiculous, man. Look at you. I've never seen you so happy. Look at that. You don't understand. This all it takes is a 135-year-old gun, and you get happy? If this is real, yeah. it's some serious money. That is incredible. <laughs> I'm going to get back in there and dig. I'm excited now. I can never sneak up on you every time. <laughs> Good morning. So we're taking this gun to Blaze. He's been buying and selling for half a century. Now, if he likes this gun, we could be talking about some smoking cash. Or what have you got to sell me today? Wow. Now, that's a nice piece. This is the old Colt Peacemaker. Outstanding. 1884, 1885. Now, we noticed that gun says US on it. It was very faint. Let's take a close look and make sure. It does say U.S. on there. That means military issue. That adds a little more money to it. If this was in mint condition, you're looking at about $30,000, $40,000. But this is about 30% condition. All the bluing is gone, and all it has left on it is patina. It's got a lot of dings and dangs. The grips are rough. That puts it down to about the $1,800 range. We have seen this before from Blaze. He starts out the negotiation super low, so when we meet in the middle, he's still ahead. We're not going to fall for his old school tricks this time. I think it's in remarkable shape. It's in pretty good shape. Let's take a look at the bore and see what we look like. Sounds good. Oh, I'm surprised. That bore is nice and crisp. As the lands and grooves to give it its rotation, the bolt's going to come it'll out. It'll be much more accurate. So accuracy is money. Accuracy is money. Since I have the least amount of experience of anybody here, can we agree that if I can hit the target anywhere close, it's an accurate gun? I'll agree. If you're a good shot, you should be able to make it. Is it going to be accurate? Is it going to shoot at all? It all comes down to the pull of the trigger. Woo! Dead ringer! Ton, you want to take a crack at it? Let me give it a shot. Whoa. Ton, that was excellent. Well, I'll have to admit it's accurate. All right. How much you want for it? I think we can all agree it's a great gun. It's a good gun, but the outside is rough. Now, I'll give you $2,000 for it. That's even low for you. It's a little low, yes. Okay. What are you feeling it's worth? Nine. Way high. Guns like that have sold for $9,000, $10,000. You're not getting 10 out of me. I'll go to six. Seven. Six and a half. 66. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> the feeling I get giving a great piece of history, a great home, can only be topped by making the mound of cash.